What is going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and today we're going to be talking about the mask equal or the MEQ instruction. So it is a uh, fairly straightforward instruction but there is quite a bit of detail that involves in understanding the mask and it is something that is not used very frequently but the mask itself is actually used in many different instructions so this is the perfect way to understand what the mask actually does if you're not familiar with bitwise operations and we're going to be taking a deep dive on each and every step and i will be explaining to you everything you need to know about this instruction how it is applicable to your uh, situation and how it can be used and of course you will understand the ins and outs of how uh, bit processing is done in this particular instruction so let's dive into it let's look at the rung of logic which is a single rung um, and it's pretty much all you need to know to understand this instruction so you're going to have three different operands one named source one named mask and the last one named compare so as the name would suggest the mask equal the equals portion stands for the fact that this instruction does exactly what the equals instruction does which we've investigated in a previous video but it layers a mask on top of this. So we're going to be looking at what the mask actually does, but all of these are integers or actually double integers in this case. And as you can see, the first one is the zeroth in our array. The mask is going to be the one and the one we're comparing to is number two. So think of it at first as you were comparing this integer zero to this integer two from our array. And if the mask is zero, then what's going to be really interesting is that no matter which values I put, it will always say that they are equal. But of course, you realize that that's the case. And let's think about why that is so. So if the mask is zero, that means you don't care about any of the bits within those integers. So that means that you're not really doing any compare uh, of those two integers. However, if the mask starts to become a certain value, and we'll look at that value again, then you'll have have something interesting that happens. So essentially in a very uh, basic terms, the mask allows you to select which bits of that full dent you want to compare to the other dent. So this allows for very interesting truncation operations essentially as you'd call them. But let's look at the controller tag. So if I go into my controller, and look on the system int. So you have, once again, I've seen, I've, like I've told you, this is the number we're comparing, this is the number we're comparing to, and this is the mask. So let's set them all to zero and kind of investigate this a little bit. So one very interesting feature of RS Logics 500, of 500, 5000, as well as Studio 5000, is that you get this style selection. And here what we can do is set these um, essentially these dents to binary and this allows us to see exactly the same value but in a binary form and the reason why I want to see it like that is because like I said the mask essentially applies a bit by bit um, mask to uh, what you want to compare so first of all if you have like I said if you have all zeros in your mask then you don't care what you compare to essentially you're comparing um, you don't care if this is for example if this is a one and this is a zero, you don't care because you have a mask of zero in that particular bit. So, so this is bit number zero. And of course you progress like bit, bit number one, bit number two, bit number three so on and so forth. So if you have a bit zero, then you, abs you have absolutely no care about that bit. That being said, if you set this to one, let's go back to our logic main routine. So here you will notice that one is definitely not equal to zero, right? So if, if you set both of them to zero, then it is equal to zero. But if you set this to one, then it's, it, uh, it equates to false. However, if we go back to our into our tags and for example let's say this value is sorry you do need to set this as a um as a binary so because we are in this binary form so let's go back into the main routine and logic tells you that 127 is not equal to zero but in this case 127 because we only care about the first bit or the zeroth bit it is equal to one because that same bit we're only evaluating that one bit out of the entire uh double integer so there's absolutely, um, there's a lot of opportunities that offer up to us when we start uh, kind of thinking about the different applications of this particular instructions. So if I set my mask to this 1111, we are going to evaluate the last four bits. So for example, here, as you can see, I have four ones and here I have 0001. So of course those two are not equal. However, if I do set this to 1111, 
these four ones are compared with these four ones, right? Because of the mask. And again, you ignore everything after. So here, for example, you can have two ones here. You can have, you know, even here you can have two ones. Here you have a one, for example. So although these values to the uh, quote unquote naked eye don't seem equal because the mask applied to them actually restricts what is actually being compared, you do get this equal as true. So as you can see, this Boolean at the end of the instruction is still being energized. Now working with, uh, like I said, with masked instructions is a little bit tedious because you do want to see this in binary. And uh, as far as I know, the only way to see them in binary is through this interface of your tags. And this is where you can, you know, line up these uh, dentagers and kind of double check what is going on. And if you have any problems, if you have an application which use which uses masks or even this mask equal uh, instruction exactly as it is, and these dentagers dentagers are not the same, then uh, what becomes really difficult is to kind of see the way that mask applies. So I would recommend creating a second instruction, which would just simply move all three of those into one simple array. So you can see them uh, side by side the way I have set up here. And of course, here you can very clearly see, you know, you're comparing the last four bits. And here you can, of course, evaluate if that is uh, operating correctly or incorrectly and what needs to be changed or what is wrong with the instruction. So that's pretty much all there is to this masked equal. Like I said, all you're doing is a comparison of the bits which are uh, essentially set to high on the mask on the mask. And that's pretty much it. So a lot of uses a lot of I've seen very interesting ways where you can combine essentially, uh, and we'll look at that it's not going to be a mask equal is going to going to be a masked move. But this is essentially illustrating the principles of a mask and how it applies to your bitwise operation. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.